a couple of weeks ago we played the Hollywood Bowl and we actually gave out you've seen these little glow in the dark little things you know you you, you sort of you sort of you know break them in half and they start to glow for about four hours oh, yeah, yeah. Little sort of we gave the whole audience those I think we bought 11,000 of these things wow. so as the night went I mean it started it was during during the evening but as it got dark the whole audience sort of glowed and about four songs into it I told the audience to throw all these at us because inevitably you're standing up there and someone's going to throw one at you and I feel as though it's better to be ready for it right. because the element of surprise is the worst thing about being hit when you're playing. Yeah, I know this because I saw Frank Zappa had to be like 1978. He was playing Oklahoma City and he was in, he was possessed by one of his guitar solos as he would be. I was sitting up a little ways and I could see one kid on the floor had one of these back in the day, one of these glow in the dark green things and he couldn't resist and he threw it up and Frank, Zappa it hit Frank Zappa <laughs> oh, right no. in the chest. And it, it really it scared him. It was just a, a little piece of plastic, but it scared the hell out of him. And Frank Zappa stopped the whole show, sent his bodyguard out to get this kid. I could see it all because I, was, I yeah. was up in the stands. And he said, Any, we came here to play music, and anybody that throws another of those things, we're going to walk off. And I thought, well, gee, that's a little harsh, isn't it? So I just say, at a Flaming Lips show, uh, it's, it, it, hopefully there's elements of it that are like a Frank Zappa show. But the one thing you can do is if we give you stuff, you can throw it back at us. That's fair game. I think so.